Okay, viewers, welcome to JMTV GH. Today, uh, we are here once again to bring you the journey into every history and Africa as a whole. So wherever you are watching me, just go to YouTube and search for JMTV GH. Subscribe to JMTV GH. Share the program and bring your comment. We will do everything that you bring. We will try and do it possible for you. So as we are here today, I'm here with Osofo Kofiche Ahaji, the man who knows history about Africans and Ghanaians. We are here to learn more from him. So today we are here to ask him, so is it possible for us to go back to take our culture? Because people are saying the Christianity take over our country. Or the, the, the uh, let me say the, we will say it, the, the, how do you call it? The white people. That's how some people say it. But we will say it, uh, Christianity take over our culture. So is it possible for us to go back and take our culture? If it's possible, how can we do it and go back to take that culture? So wait for me. Let me go to commercial break one minute. When I come back, I'll go to Sofu Kufiche Haji. Then we'll bring you the issue. I think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money. That is all. Then they believe. One who young couple be a sumo. Now, Miss Sumina Nanuma Mamre and Mehuno. Miss Sumuno says, I don't do near who call now to me call heaven a man could be a and your problem. But the only person who said it's a time for Africa say, Yeni baby, Yeni Bedaho, they who say church is a business maker with no fear. So soon we are seeing now, the friend of heaven is now more clear. Ne bimpi ni nse e planet si ye diya. Ne no no e ye nipa e ne enti ni tena ho. Ye mum a ho hum e ne tena ho. Yes, sir. Where's up? Mazoro, Maraca Mazon. When I cook on your phone, you're a phone, you're a phone, you're a phone, a family. Nearly. Okay, okay. A valley can meet your go, Mark, but I'm not a genuine at all. I'm not a talk, and I'm not a talk. You talk about my mouth, no view, and you talk about my mouth, no view, 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 Agba ha mi ga va pa mi ajo uma mi apo ba fike togba oto mama oto a fi o pro mi va da da ko do gbo o fi a emi va le gbadadi ha ha mi tro mi aye mi va to un yo togba o ko na mi mi glande mi tro mi va to okay uh, thank you so sofo was greeting us uh, with our own language, every language, yeah. So that's what he was saying. Today we are going to discuss uh, where we are coming from or where our ancestors are coming from before we are here today and what can we do to go and take back our culture. So as you yourself, you say, Toby, so many people are asking, fine, as you taught us uh, in the past video, you taught us where we are coming from, uh, the road we pass, uh, today, if we are talking about the, the uh, tonal language people, where we can find them and those stuff. So people are asking, okay, so if that's the case, uh, is it possible for us to go back to take our culture where the Christianists take over our land today? Thank you. Christianity pretends to have taken over the land. Mm. And some people pretend to believe in that falsehood. Mm -hmm. Christianity is supposed to have taught our people that there is some place called heaven in the skies. Mm -hmm. And Christianity says that when Jesus left, claimed to have left the earth, 
he went and sat on the right hand side of the father mm -hmm. in that heaven they didn't realize that the one they were calling the father is a spirit mm -hmm. so you cannot sit on the right hand side of a spirit and the christianity has taught people to think that a spirit has a right hand therefore it has a left hand mm -hmm. If it has a right and left hands, then it has a front and it has a back. Yeah. So whatever happens behind that spirit known as the father cannot be seen by the father. Mm -hmm. If that were so, then it is no longer a spirit. Yeah. Because a spirit must not have a right nor left hand. Okay. So that is one of the fundamental lies of the thing they call Christianity. Mm -hmm. okay. If you lie, the first lie, you must continue with another lie. Yeah. And the second lie, you must continue with a third lie. Mm -hmm. So you must continue lying. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's continue. You must continue lying to make up your case. Okay. We had a situation where this Jesus, who allegedly died for the sins of some people he didn't know, mm -hmm. was uh, supposed to have uh, gone to heaven. Okay. If he went to heaven, where is the heaven? Those people who brought the, quest, uh, the concept of Christianity, mm -hmm. they themselves don't believe in it. The other time there was a video okay. showing a church building mm -hmm. in Nottingham, yeah. the United Kingdom. That they take to they, they have changed into a night, beer bar. Night, night club and yeah. the, those stuff. Yeah. Those are the people who have the King James version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. That is supposed to be the most authentic version of the Bible. Yeah. And the, the house of the Bible, where they preach the Bible all the time, that is the house where they drink their beer. Yeah. So, if they can see that the thing they brought is not working for them, that uh, the father hasn't got a left or right hand, Okay. why is it that they should go back and we should not go back? Mm. We who have physical evidence of the things that our ancestors left for us, we are not going back. They can go back when they don't have any back to go to. Okay, so what you want us to understand is um, our ancestors who are holding the original culture first. Yes. Before uh, those people brought us uh, the, the different culture. Yes. Now the people who brought us the culture are going back to take they are old one so why 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 should we, why should we, why should we still we hold, hold on, on to their own what they oh, okay to okay okay is there any sense in it no you have something someone has come to take it he tells you that the one you have is no good yeah he has brought the better one and in that better one he claims to have brought there is an injunction which says that uh, we they claim to be the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Thou must not kill. Yes. Thou shall not kill. Yes. And Thou shall not steal. You should not steal. Mm -hmm. And yet, they have done all the negative things against us. They have killed our people. They have uh, smuggled our people. They have taken over everything that is ours. Mm -hmm. They have created something they call the slave trade, which was not a trade. When you use weapon to come and capture people in their homes and take them across the sea, dump some into the sea, you can't call that one trade. Mm -hmm. Trade must be exchange of goods between two different parties. But in this particular case, they, say, they call it the slave trade, but they were not trading. Okay. They came with weapons and captured our people, took them away. You have uh, the Liverpool, the Chelsea, and all these, they all made money out of capturing and selling 
our ancestors. Okay, so if that's the case, they, they have came with weapons. Some people too are asking this question. If it's true, our ancestors have power or have energy like how we are saying it today, we should go back to take our culture, something like Voju and those stuff. Where did they allow themselves for the people use weapon to, to take them away? That's the question people mm -hmm. are asking. Yeah, people will ask such questions because they, they don't know the origin of the crisis we are in. Okay. Now, that takes us back to the Southern Valley. Okay. What was it which happened there? Mm -hmm. there? There was the first slave enslavement of our people. Okay. Our people were there doing their things genuinely and peacefully. And you came, you said, oh, let me stay with you. Mm -hmm. So no problem. Then you came, they gave you a place. Like in Togo today, those days, uh, when you are in the Republic of Togo, they have a slogan like, Nyemi de Funufa, Semelio. Okay. Hmm? What's the meaning? The me it simply means that when you go somewhere, there is no toilet or anything, you feel like easing yourself. They say, oh, there is no law. You can just go to, to the, the small bush, bush there and uh, ease yourself. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, here we are. These people have come. They say, oh, you can stay there. You want to stay with me? No, no problem. You can stay there. In staying there, now they are defining. You have taught them some few things, how to plant cassava, how to plant corn, how to plant this or that. Now they say that they even taught you, not you teaching them. Say, so oh, if you taught me, I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. Take it, do it, let's see. So we have a situation where those who have taken over, they cannot manage the things. Okay. There is uh, this annual celebration of uh, Aviation Day. Yeah. The, uh, creation of aircraft and all these things. Mm -hmm. The whites claim that they were those who started it. Yes. They said, oh, you continue. But then in their own researches, they are now establishing that these aircraft and all this, the 1,200 year old aircraft was created by the blacks. Mm -hmm. So how can you come around and say that 100 years ago, you were the people who build the first and aircraft. you are doing the celebration for it yes and then they say that uh, they started the aircraft business when somebody they called the, the icarus mm -hmm. uh, ostensibly a greek yeah. waxed ostrich feathers to their arms and launched the world into the aviation age then the americans came and said no it was rather the Wright brothers who launched the world into the aviation age. Mm -hmm. Then the Italian Leonardo da Vinci said, oh, you are talking of 100 years. I did my aircraft 200 years ago. Mm -hmm. So I invented it. Okay. Now they had to find, they di discovered, the, the archaeologists and the researchers discovered that the first aircraft, which was the glider, was developed 1,200 years. years. So who was the first to start it? Now, 6,000 years ago, mm -hmm. the first woman, which is the symbol of the Mahat, mm -hmm. justice, truth, and fair play, mm -hmm. you see the woman waxing feathers to her arms. Yeah. So, if you say that you wax feathers to your arms, it means that you learnt it from them. Yeah. If you learnt it from them, then the aircraft that they created 1,200 years ago was the oldest. Mm -hmm. So it was the black man who did it. Mm -hmm. If it was the black man who did it, we are saying that let us go back to our culture. Okay. The things that our ancestors created, mm -hmm. included the building of aircraft, included the construction of seagoing vessels. Okay, but people are debating on it that uh, a lot of time uh, I debate on those things people are saying um, black man never did anything or never uh, 
create anything like those playing bob and stuff we are talking about is white people how can uh, we find out it's true is our ancestors who do those things and what happened before all those things we couldn't do some today mm. What happened before we can do some today? Mm. I don't we, aren't we doing anything? That's, eh? that's what we are saying. Now, the going fishing. Mm -hmm. Who taught our people how to fish? Nobody. Who taught them how to farm? Nobody. So it means that they knew all these things before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they knew all these things before, we are saying that let us go back to what they knew before. Okay, so, so, so the problem now is we have to go back to what our ancestors left for us before we can know no, how, how to, to do those things. How to improve upon it. Okay. If okay. you don't go back to find out, you will not know. You will think that it is somebody who did it. That's why uh, if we say a uh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Now we go to the U.S. or these uh, European countries. What are they doing? They are selling stones they call crystals. Yeah, and the gemstones. Yes, and you are buying them. Yes. Meanwhile, you have the stones in your midst. Plenty. You don't uh, recognize them. <laughs> Because they have told you that your stones are not good, mm -hmm. and you believe them. Then, our people say that the stones that they have, they can send the stones and they will get reply. Mm. But you say no. You see these stones, sure. they are white. Yes. Mm? Mm -hmm. These are the same stones the white man is selling in America and making money. Oh, how? Hmm? How? Mm -hmm. You go to the, you go to Saudi Arabia, and people every year they go around there. What do they go to do? They go the, the and true, run the around. The true stone to uh, yes, this thing. the black rock. Yeah. And uh, what is the black rock? They call it the Kaaba. Yeah, Kaaba. Yeah. Yes, it's the Kaaba. Black, who are you? We are going to the black rock which you have in your own midst, but you have allowed yourself to be misdirected that there is a black rock somewhere which is more expensive than the one which is with you. So, so the questions uh, one will ask that, like how you are talking about this white tone, do we have people around now we can say? They can give us this stone, say something on it that we can use it and to work the same like why uh, the the one that they went there to buy. Now, what can you do? You talk to the stone, mm -hmm. and they call something levitation. Yeah. Up till today, mm -hmm. the white man cannot understand how the, the pyramids of Egypt was were built. built. Yes. Mm? Mm -hmm. Stone, you talk to the stone, mm -hmm. the stone must respond. If you know the language of the stone, just like knowing the language of the trees, the birds, you can talk to birds. You can call a bird and the bird will come to you. Because you understand the bird's language. So if you get the stone and you talk to the stone and tell the stone, do this for this man. It will happen. So, for, don't you think that we don't have the key or the name of those things, or our ancestors don't taught us uh, the name of those things? That's why today we are suffering. That or we believe that our own is doesn't have any power. Well, in one of the programs, I did tell you that the ancestors mm -hmm. they didn't hide anything from us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we needed to know. They taught us. But the misuse of what you have been taught is the problem with the present generation. So means they, they, they leave us everything. But, everything but, is but someone you. came to tell us that no, what no, your ancestors give you is not good. Mm -hmm. So uh, you leave it. Oh, okay. So that's the problem they have you are having now. You, they have made everything available to you. 
And you say no. Okay. Because somebody came and said his name is uh, Peter John. Mm -hmm. And that uh, the creator of the universe can only speak his language and not yours. So you followed him and you left yours. Mm -hmm. And you thought that uh, his language will take you to some wonderful place. You go on and on and on and you get to realize that you have not gone anywhere at all. In fact, like the reggae master will say, you have been reggaeing back into slavery. The things that you should know, you are not knowing them. You are knowing useless things, being taught by useless people. And you think that you are advancing. You are not advancing. So we say that find out who you were, who your ancestors were. What were the things that they left for you that you have abandoned? Okay. Until you know what they left for you, you will never get anywhere. I was talking to a gentleman who called me from Osino. Okay. He said uh, in their place at uh, Verhuemen, mm -hmm. he thought that uh, he was being civilized when he was young, when there is a stool festival, the throne festival, in his infancy he was going. But when he saw the light, and what was the light? The white man's light of uh, deception, mm -hmm. that uh, yes, they have brought you Jesus. So he abandoned it, everything. Mm -hmm. Now he is at Osino. And he has realized that for several years now, That's nothing right. has been going correct for him. Mm -hmm. So uh, he been, he's been thinking, thinking, thinking until he saw one of uh, the productions that I made. And he said, ah, but what has been his worry? That is the solution which I have been given. Mm -hmm. So he will have to find out. Okay. Then I told him, if you left the seat on which you must sit and you gone somewhere, you will, not you get will stand. Seat to sit. Nobody will give you a chair to sit on. Mm. Because you have left the earth. So that's the bigger problem we, we are having now. And that is why it is necessary for us to get back to our roots. Because if you have abandoned your culture, the culture you have is the totality of your whole being. Okay. You don't leave your culture, which includes your language, the food you eat, the people, how you receive people, how you carry out marriages and all these things and go and borrow somebody's. Like I continually tell you, mm -hmm. you can't borrow somebody's eyes to see you. No. You can't borrow his ears to hear. Yeah, no. His brain, you can't borrow it to think. Never. You can only use yours. Yes. And if you don't use yours correctly too, you will be like a zombie. Mm -hmm. You will be moved left to right center. You will not get anywhere. Okay. So go back. What you have left, or what you have been deceived to leave behind, go and take it. Okay, fine. Now our people living in diaspora, a lot of them sometimes when they call you, oh, we have did mistake, abandon our culture. Is it possible for one to go back home? Maybe your parents die, your people die, maybe now it left some of the family. Is it possible for that person to go and take back the culture that they are in if yes how can that person mm. go about luckily we have a key to all the problems on frontiers okay we have the divination system okay known as afa okay okay what can afa do for you what is afa telling you Okay. You have one part which is physical, okay. which is the daylight, and you have the other part which is spiritual, okay. which is the darkness. darkness okay. So, if you want to get jump from the daylight and enter into the light of, of darkness, darkness, you have to pass through Hafa. Okay. Hafa will tell you. Okay. So, if you have lost your heritage, you have lost everything and you are living in someone else's land. Your people have died. You go back to your home. You have a home. Okay. Even if you don't have 
a physical home, you have a spiritual home you have to go to. Okay. When you go to that spiritual home, you ask the ancestors. They will guide you. Okay. They will show you the path. Go wherever you have been taught, then pour libation. Libation. Invoke them. Okay. Yeah? And how to invoke them? Do you taught us you, last, you last time? So uh, people are, are, are you, grateful. You for know, it. you know the names of some of your ancestors. Okay. Hmm? You cannot know all the names, but you know some of them. Okay. Then you say that me a clanji, me a clanji. Okay. Me a yo mau katau mau, me a yo mau sogbo lisa, mau kiki kata. Mau adan wato we washi wafo. Okay. So you have invoked the energies of all energies. Okay. Nse. Manakio. Okay. Wi ni ma popo mo ade fiamo. Okay. When you go to bed, you sleep. The message will come to you. Okay. The thing you are looking for, they will tell you is here or is there. They will tell you, and you will think that you are dreaming. Mm -hmm. But you go to where you have been taught in your dream. That go, you see, see this. It, and you go there, you, see. you will see it. Okay. But if you decide to say that, no, I, I was only dreaming. Yes, you will only dream. But if you have the confidence that what you saw in your dream is something which is there, you will go there and you will find it. Okay, so Togui or Sofo, how can we do with this Christianity stuff and go back to take our culture? When you decide to call yourself James, mm -hmm. you are getting lost. You are not taking your culture because somebody has told you that your name Mauko is not correct. Mm -hmm. So you have to take James. Once you continue on that line, you will never, never take back your culture. Your culture is defined by your language, the name you have been given, mm -hmm. the food you must eat. Don't go and take somebody's food and say that, oh, this is a vegetable salad, this is that, this is that, so I will prefer this one to Dan, the apple Dan, I my eat. Apple. And for uh, abobitadi, and uh, you don't want them. Mm -hmm. You want to take sardines and all. And, and Once you stuff. continue that way, you have lost. Even if you go into dress, you want to put on a three-piece suit. Yeah. Why? And our temperature is not good for three-piece suit. Mm -hmm. But because somebody says that you have to, you have to wear three-piece suit. Mm -hmm. You have to tie your neck. Okay. You have to wear something to for them to call you a gentleman yeah. as long as you continue in that way you will never never get anywhere as long you continue at that way you will never never get to uh, that way or to your route uh, here is jmtvgh a program called the journey into every history and africa as a whole today we are asking osofo how can we get back or is it possible for us to take back our culture or those stuff. A lot of us saying it, the voodoo and those stuff is evil, is devilish and all that. But what he is saying, if you abandon your culture, your tradition, your house seat, he, he, he says some word. He say if you left your seat home, you go and stand there. The meaning is, when you left your culture, you will run me up and down, up and down, and you never get solution to the problem you're in. So all the time, what I'm saying, many of us will die before we realize that, ah, the solution to our problem is my culture or my ancestors' thing. So I'll not take much time. Give me one minute, let me go to commercial break. When I come back, go to Sofuku Fitcher Haji, then uh, we'll continue from there. Think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money, that is all. Then they believe. 
won hu nyankopo bia somno na me somi nana no ma mamre amehu no me somno se sada no do ne ewu ko na won to me ko have na man ko bia enye problem but the only person who said it's a time for Africa said, "Yeni baby, yeni better ho." They have said, "Church is a business maker with no fear." So soon we are seeing now, the friend of heaven is now one more time. The people who say they are planning to see the idea, they no no, they are nipa, they are anti men tena ho. They are mumu aho hum, they are tena ho. Your viewers, welcome back once again to JMTVGH. This is a program called The Journey into Every History and Africa as a Whole. We are here with Sofu Kufiche Ahaji. We are asking, is it possible for us to go back to take our culture? Is it possible for us to go back to take our culture when this Christianity take over our country or our land? And he was giving us uh, so many explanations what we should do and how we have to go about it so let me go to him so that we can continue and discuss that okay so for yes sir so now the generation the youth and uh, we the people who live in right now yeah uh, the other day i was saying something the effort that I was taught in so many places that I went that every people are the first people who came to this world. That's what I hear. So many people tell me that even the, some of the Khan was saying it. But when you come to this country right now, as we the Everest are quiet, people say we are suffering than the other people. Is there any secret hiding somewhere? that the Everest, the Akans, and the other tribe doesn't know. That's the reason why the country is going, how it's going, the, this Galamsey issue, this uh, spoiling the waters and the, those stuff was going on. Is there any secret hiding someplace? Secret? Yeah. Secret hiding somewhere when destruction is going on. What did uh, Robert Nesta Mali say? Okay. Many more will have to suffer. Mm -hmm. Many more will have to die. Don't ask me how. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those, like uh, the video you did, in the marine environment, mm -hmm. the Volta Lake. Lake yeah. Is that not a river? That's the river. The pra is it not a river? It's a river. What is the secret behind the Voltarians keeping their water neat and uh, the Akans keeping theirs bad? People say we don't have good, so that's why we are not digging it. Yeah. You claim that you don't <laughs> have good. Yeah. There is... Uh, I, I make a calendar. Okay. Of... Uh, I titled it the Nigma Lonola. Okay. Now, on the calendar in a village near Anyangui, mm -hmm. there was uh, this uh, research I did. When I, I used to do terrazzo. Okay. You see my ter some yeah. of my terrazzo products. Okay. I was looking for black and green chippings. Mm -hmm. Then I went to this island okay. and I saw the green rock. Already behind this uh, Achimota Mall, there was a place where they had to be, they were crashing chippings. Okay. 
So I went there and I saw the green chippings. Prior to that one, we have been using broken beer bottles. Yes, that's what I want us, to ask. That's what I know. To give us the green chippings. Then when I saw that over there, then I asked the guy in charge of the place, where did you get these this green, green chippings? chippings. Okay. It is not broken bottle. He said, oh, when you want these green chippings, you go to the mines. You will get the green rock there. Wow. And these green rocks can only be found in places where you can have gold. Okay. The green rock tells you that there There's is gold. gold in this land. So I went to this village and uh, crossing to the island, they were digging to create a, a, what, a, this toilet system. Mm -hmm. So I saw a green rock. Then I picked it up. And I came to Geological Survey Department. Mm -hmm. There was a one uh, geologist there. He takes in a little of our stuff and he gets high, but he knows his job. Okay. And now he is passed on. Oh. So, when I sent it there, a friend of mine was working there. So he took me to the man. He said, oh, this man can explain. The man saw the green rock. He said, where did you get it from? He said, from the Volta region. Then he called the name of the place. Wow. I said, how do you know? He said, that's where you will get it. You, I know you haven't been to the Northern Volta, mm -hmm. so that's the you place you can the, get it. You can get this one there. You will get some clay which is shiny and yes, yes. is there. I said, hey, why? He said, he has done his researches around all those places. That's where you can get it. So, I should go, if I like, I should go back. When they dig again and they reach beyond eight feet, they were still good. Gold is there. <laughs> so I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I went back. Then after the green rock, you have uh, the clay again yes. shining. Yes. Then beneath it, I didn't tell them what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. And all the indications he gave were there, so I left. The late MP for Squadron Leader Sulu okay. said they were going to engage in uh, exploration of the clay for ceramic purposes. Okay. But then you have to lay pipe, you have to lay electricity connection from the mainland to that island. Okay. And that could not be done. So that project stayed like yeah, that. Okay. So these guys, uh, our brothers from the account speaking area, when they saw the thing, said, no, let's go. They know that God is there. Yes, so we went. We went and we arrived at a settlement from Anyangui. Then we went to one of the divine priests. But he, when he got down from the car, he looked on the, he saw the pebbles over there. He said, there, happy. Is, there is gold here. We went to the divine priest. We greeted him and he said, oh, yeah, we are welcome. What can he do for us? Then the guy gave him the drink. So he wants him to pray before we narrate the message. After all that one, he narrated the message, and the divine priest said, no, as for this, you can't take it. Wow. You can do everything, you can't take it. But I am not the custodian of this place. Mm -hmm. You cross and go to the island, they are there. The people who have control, they are there. So, we crossed and went there. And we saw them, we spoke to them. They got their drink all right, and they also told us that, don't dream, you can't get it. We sat down there, we chatted and chatted and chatted. So when we bring this and that, and we perform the rituals, say we can get it. Say, you can't. 
they, he pleaded and said, okay, if you want to venture, go and come. Then we crossed and came back and drove. We went to Achitechi. Mm -hmm. Then he said he wanted to see where the water enters into the sea. Okay. So we set off. We walked and walked and walked and walked and walked and I got tired. And I sat down. The second person walked and walked and walked and walked tired, and got down, sat down. Then he was going because we were seeing some coconut tree right in front mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. The more you get closer to the coconut tree, the, the coconut further tree. is going. Wow. And he did that one. Then he also, I, we looked at him and then he sat down. He hasn't read the coconut tree. Wow. Finally, he started then coming back. Come, no. They all came and joined me. Then we left. They have not tried to find out about that gold again. Okay, so if that's the case, means... If you see gold here, mm -hmm. and you want to Dig mine it, it, mm -hmm. it will be there. It will move through the ground. Okay. It's, a, it's a deity, it's a spirit. Yes, so can we say there's a time will come that the, the, the people who take care of those things the good way can allow the, the generation coming to mine it in the good way that can bring the development to the city. Who, say, who says that one brings development? Yeah, maybe that's why they can get money in those towns. What money? The paper money. Paper on which they have drawn certain things. Then you say that is money. No. That is not money. Which one is money? That is paper. Mm -hmm. Paper on which they have drawn things. Money is your whole being. Don't let anybody fool you into thinking that when you take some paper and you draw some things on it, that is money. So now we say that somebody is a billionaire, somebody is a... What a, is he a billionaire for? All right. <laughs> so for, uh, for dollars. I, I think our, our, our time is, is okay. up and I want you to give me this explanation, the final. So can we say for us taking of the environment, the waters, uh, the trees, uh, things surrounding us, that one can bring us more development than destroying it. What, what is more developmental than keeping your environment neat? Development must start from where you are. Development should not be imposed from outside. Mm -hmm. You see that, like uh, the, this one, the what can you use it for? You can make basket out of it. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? We are not doing anything. And just uh, quite uh, recently, the president of the Republic of Ghana mm -hmm. is supposed to have launched tree planting. Mm -hmm. After they have destroyed all the, the, the people trees. have been allowed to destroy all the, the trees. trees and the now waters. you are doing tree planting. Why not ensure that the tree planting goes alongside with, with the cutting of trees? Now, when was the last time you saw a vulture? No. Yes, because I, I you, have cut, you have cut down all the trees. And the vulture is the um, best environmental bed. What have you done? You claim that you have uh, some company called Zoom Lion. Yeah. So this company is being paid to come and collect the refuse you create. Mm -hmm. So you create the refuse and uh, you are asked to pay tax so that the company will come and collect the refuse and you are happy. You cannot be happy when you are destroying your own environment. Well, you cannot be happy you when you destroy your own environment. You don't maintain the environment. Mm -hmm. Future generations yeah, will come and right. curse you. Sure. Because you have destroyed what they will live upon. Okay. Okay. Last two days, I had to pluck a coconut and uh, I and took drink. it. drink? Yes. If the tree were not here. You can't. You can't. You have to go and buy so, the chemicals one. You see the tree over there, the custard uh, yeah. apple. Yeah. 
I planted some. They are germinating in the pot over there. Okay. And I will send them to the village and plant them. Okay. And you will have these apples growing. Mm -hmm. That is the best thing we can do to our environment, okay. not to cut down trees. All right, not to cut down trees. Your final words, then we can edit here. As for culture, yeah. the culture is the totality of your being. Okay. Who are you okay. is determined by what you believe in, okay. what you do to sustain you, what you teach future generations to know that uh, don't destroy anything you have come to meet, which you know you cannot replace. Thank you, Sofu Kufiche Ahaji, for your time. Thank you for thanking me. Uh, don't destroy anything you have come and meet. Uh, I hope you have learned a lot from it. So go back and take your culture, and you'll be free forever. So this quotation always saying, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. So when you know the truth and the truth will set you free. So what he is saying is we should go back and take our culture and we will be free forever and ever. So try subscribe to JMTVGH. Share the program. Your comment is welcome. Uh, I know some of you are worried in terms of saying it in English and all that. But for the sake of our people who are lost in the other countries, they have to come back and take their own thing. So many of them are suffering. That's the reason why we are doing this, for them to open their eyes, to open their ears, to hear whatever Sofu Kofiche Haji was saying. So today my DOP, uh, Director of Photographer, is Mauto. Yeah, uh, my young man, Mauto. <laughs> and then uh, Asalink, my editor, wherever you are, uh, greetings to you. My own, my dear, Nanajwa. My dear, my ancestors continue to bless you. And everybody who are supporting me through this journey, we are going to, we know, now we have started. Your prayer, your support will push us to get to where we want to get. You have sent to do this job. So that's our duty to do it. So that tomorrow, when we are not there, the future generation will say, this person starts this. It opened our eyes today and we are enjoying it. We know. That very soon things will change and things will turn around so if you don't see me this is your man jm see you next time bye bye think that when somebody brings some paper with some drawings on it and calls it money that is all then they believe one who nyan kupo bia sumuno na mi sumi nananu ma mamre amehunu me sumuno se sada no do ne wu so now to me call heaven I'm Kobia and your problem. But the only person who said it's a time for Africa say you need baby, you need better hope. They have said church is a business maker with no fear. So soon we are seeing now your friend of heaven in our mock. Nay baby means a planet to see ye are see no no a ye a nipa and the intimate. Yeah, mum, I hope and a tenaho.